National Player of the Year Kehlani Ricketts wasn't in the circle in Game 2 of the championship series, but she still did the majority of the heavy lifting as Oklahoma took on Tennessee in the Women's College World Series on Tuesday night. While Michelle Gascoigne was soaring through the Lady Vols lineup, striking out 12 on the way to seven scoreless innings, it was Kehlani Ricketts who knocked in all four of OU's runs, including hitting a three-run jack over the fence in the top of the third inning. Oklahoma completes its mission and wins the national title with a 4-0 victory over Tennessee. It's the first national title since the year 2000 for the Sooners and the second in the program's history. We were very, very pleased to represent the University of Oklahoma as well as the state of Oklahoma. And you've heard a lot about it this week, and that is who we were representing. It's not, uh, the phrase is more than, more than ourselves. We had a lot of people that we wanted to give pride to, make happy, and just forget about things that have been going on in the last three weeks or so. Um, I cannot tell you how honored I am to be the coach of this team because they, um, they're just special. We knew that we were the favorite all year and, that, and it was cool just because we weren't able to feel any of that pressure because we were able to go out there and have fun with each other. And just the fact that our, our lineup is, has so much depth with the pitching and the hitting, it makes it even more relaxing out there and it's easier to not press still unreal that we're here, but I feel like last year really gave us the determination to get back in this moment and get back in this with this team. We all believed in each other. We all worked so hard all year long, and we knew that it was going to be a day-by-day -day thing to not take anything for granted and just work together and know to trust in what we have and to trust that what our coaches have been telling us all along will work. I wouldn't choose another group to play with, and we've been so close and we've gone through so much together. It's been a blast to get to play with them. And I mean, this whole team has the biggest heart, um, the most strength and the most fight, it, I guess, I've, in any team I've ever played for. And it's amazing to be able to play with these girls. This class uh, had a big part of the reason why I chose to go to the University of Oklahoma. And I thank them for that. Um, you guys are so awesome. You've really changed uh, the face of this program, and you've made me proud to keep playing here. And um, I'm going to hold it down for you. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> I want to congratulate the University of Oklahoma. They are amazing. They're an amazing team, OK? I spent nine years you know, with our national team, and I think that Oklahoma team would have beat most of the other countries that we played, even the great ones. I don't know if they'd have beat the U.S., but I tell you what. So Oklahoma finishes 57-4 and four and wins its final 13 games of the season on the way to the national title. But it should be remembered that one year ago, the Sooners were defeated and at their lowest point after losing in the championship series to Alabama. And while softball can hardly compare in the enormity of life, there are lessons to be learned for those who've suffered losses in some of the darkest weeks in Oklahoma history. The night is always darkest before the dawn. Stay resilient. You can rebuild and you can come back stronger than ever. Reporting from Hall of Fame Stadium in Oklahoma City, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports. <laughs>